Hey guys, welcome back to Xamarin guys. So in this tutorial, we are going to play around with in-app app theming. It is the easiest way to implement app themes changes inside our Xamarin Forms application. So this was introduced in Xamarin Forms 4.8 and above. So you can see over here, we have changed our application to a dark theme mode. And whenever I change back to our normal theme mode then the application should automatically change my page background as well as our button background and text color so first thing first at first we need to integrate xamarin forms version 4.8 and above because this app theming has been introduced in xamarin forms 4.8 and above so we need to set flags for our app theme experimental because it's not stable in Xamarin Forms 4.8 and 8 and, and I think it will be stable on Xamarin Forms 5.0 and above. So this is my app.xaml. You don't need to focus over here as of now. So main page will be triggered whenever uh, our application gets started. So you can see over here we have a very basic UI which has style that's get inherited from static resource background style and uh, button get inherited from our button style so this styles gets is static property from app.xaml you need to focus on this part you can see over here we have our button style as well as our background style so these two styles will be called by our main page.xaml and these are the universal colors you don't need to focus on that as of now so i'll be discussing it with you later i'll go through each and every step to make you understand we know that button gets inherited from our button style which we will target for the button now we can set button with background color so in order to set that we use value property so which gets inherited from our app theme binding so if this app theme binding has light as well as dark theme changes whenever our app changes to light theme then we are going to tell that please button i want to make your uh, background color as blue color so this is the blue color that will be called whenever the system theme changes to light mode now for the dark mode too we are going to tell that button please change your background color to white so similarly we are going to call our background style for the content page you can see over here we have content page and it might be different for your case of the pages it might be a pop-up page too so we can just apply any condition as we like so we can see over here the setter property for our content page that is our background color the same value property and app theme binding gets inherited from the values and we have light theme as well as dark theme properties so we are going to tell that whenever the application is in light theme mode with the help of x key we are going to tell that app light secondary color will be white this is white color you can see over here this is a white color for light theme because our system app theme is in light color light uh, theme mode now let's change to pink then it will just change to pink and you can just change to anything as you like and play around with those values whenever application is in light mode so whenever application goes to dark mode then this setting is going to be triggered that is app dark secondary color now we are done with app dark secondary color as black that means whenever application goes to the dark mode then we are going to change our background color to black so dark mode goes to black you can just change to anything as you like and uh, hope you have understood the real concept of app theme bindings so you can see over here whenever i switch back to dark theme appearance then if i go back then the background color is black and similarly the text changes as well as the button uh, style gets changes with the help of this x key properties that are being called from app theme bindings I request you to play with those values and then change uh, the colors of uh, the whole app with respect to the themes that you change from your system. So this will respond to your system theme changes. So that's all for this tutorial now. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Keep in touch for next tutorials.